Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RSF1's F2 division. We are here at the f the first round of races at a new track this week. This is the... well, it's not new on the calendar, but it's new in the season. Anyway, I'm messing this up. Um, it is the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, also known as Baku. We all know this as Baku, even though it says Azerbaijan on the screen. But this we know and kind of love. As a, as a viewer, in terms of racing, it can be very formidable. It has the infamous castle section, which you've got to have a lot of bravery to thread your car through and avoiding the walls. Also, big long straights, big heavy braking zones. Could be interesting. Could be a as hectic as last week in F2, because there was a lot of casualties in F2 last week. I think half of the grid finished. But anyway, um, hopefully you're all going to enjoy the entertainment ahead of us. So, tonight, myself, um, Isofron Brundle, also known as Michael, um, standing in for Primus today, he's having a well-deserved break from the comms box. I'm also joined by uh, somebody else who's also brand new to F2. He hasn't really watched F2 the last few weeks, and I believe it's the first time he's in the comms box for F2. It is mm. Mr. Blazer Guns. Hello! Good evening to you. Good evening. So you, so you normally uh, obviously stream F one. Yes, I normally do. This is obviously, this is obviously just below, and the thing is with F two, um, Blazer is, you can't really tell, can't really tell the difference. I mean, only lap times, really, between them and the top division. Um, the entertainment though is still very very strong. Yes, definitely, and. Um... Of course, the F2 division lot closest, pretty much to the F1 division lot. So we get to see good fun racing and definitely some close timings. We will get to see, and I we're gonna get to see it here. I mean, as as racing gonna be racing here tomorrow and also commentating it for tonight and then the F1 on division on Wednesday. It's going to be fun just to see all the cars going down this big long straight, gaining times, going through that difficult castle sections where it could be very good, or you could just go completely Charles de Clare and go, I am stupid. I love doing that. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, this track um, almost resembles as Monaco, but it's not as tight as Monaco, I would say. But the castle section kind of is like Monaco, how tight it is. You can't go side by side through there. It's impossible. You try to do that, you might as well ask him for a death wish. Yeah. Well, currently, Blazer, we have very, very shy F2 drivers. Normally, they all, like, two or three, at the very least, start rushing out. But yeah. No one. Hello, everybody in the um... chat there. Hippo, how we're doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. How you doing, buddy? Hello, Sauce. Hello. There's a car. There's a car. There's a car. Yay. No, it's two minutes. Two minutes into the session and finally a car Stitch. decides yep. to head out. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Well, as we stay on board with Stigeon on this outlap here, shall I go through the constructors and the drivers for F2? Yes, sir, please. All right. So, starting off with the constructors championship, and we'll go from 10th to 1st. So, in P. In 10th position, it is the Williams team of the drivers of Magic Marks and I don't know who the other Williams driver is because it looks like he's not here today. Uh, oh, top of my head, I can't think who it is. Oh, I'll uh, find so out. It's going to be, it's be uh, one shot, actually, one I shot, think. Yeah. Uh, one shot, they're currently in 15 points in P10. And then above them is quite a uh, points margin. In P9 in the, is the pain in the ass Haas car with 43 points. Closely, slightly closely behind them, it is, uh, in front of them, it is in 8th position the Milton Keynes team of Red Bull Racing. So they are sitting on 55 points. Then you got the sister Red Bull team, or, well, yeah, the sister Red Bull team, the Scuderia Alpha Tari, what was formerly known as Toro Rosso. It, we're 57 points ahead. Uh, actually, level on points, shall I say. So in P6, it is the French manufacturing team Renault with 57 points as well. So kind of close between those two teams already. 
And then you got the main Scuderia Ferrari sitting in P5 with 58 points. Then you got the black Mercedes with 59 points in P4. In P number th in third place, it is the other Italian team of Alva Romeo with 101 points. And then you got the team from Woking with the Papaya car, which we were just watching with Stijon doing his outlap, but doesn't want to do his lap. It is the McLaren car. Off the, with the 127 points and of course leading the championship in the constructors at the moment it is the pink mercedes as everybody calls it it is the racing point with 138 points but at the moment it's still kind of close i mean to be fair from fourth to eighth they're very close they're all in the 50s there 59 it goes from Mercedes with 59 with Red Bull with 55, so it's kind of close there in the midfield. So, like this early on in the season, so good to pretty good much, fun that. Pretty much sums up, um, pretty much sums up F2. Obviously, you've got um, Racing Point that have changed their Whoa! drivers. You've got eight. Sorry about that. I just saw a Mega Centurion absolutely spun on the exit of turn one, and Nick, as um, who was it? Breezy coming, out of, coming out of the pits. Yeah, yeah. Breezy just coming out of the pits, and lucky enough, avoided him. <laughs> yeah, the two racing points. Obviously, they have changed their drivers recently. You got AB Draco in for Mexico, I think it was, but the, obviously the driver driving in that team forward, excuse the pun, is uh, Luki at the moment. Obviously, the last week's winner in Monaco um, got another win in Vietnam as well. It's been. He, in terms of F2 Blazer, basically give you the rundown of F2 pretty much. Um, obviously, you'll go through the drivers in a bit, but Luki has like the raw pace of F2. It just shows in his results. What he's struggling to overcome is Muddy Biscuit's consistency, which obviously Primus would always say about because, as he was as he was said, Muddy Biscuit is a very consistent driver. Has just stays out of trouble. He's only been off the podium once this season, Blazer, and that was seventh in Spain. The rest, mm. he's been on the podium. And mm. most of those races, he's been outside the podium. He doesn't normally qualify that well. Um, but just stays out of trouble. Has no penalties, or barely any. And just sticks around. And that's why he's, you know, started off very well and leaving the championship at the moment. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, of course, early on in the season, it's anything could still happen. As we're only in Baku, which is, what, the eighth round. So anything could mm -hmm. still happen. In this 22 race calendar. Yeah, uh, let's get on board with the drivers championship then. You can see in lap times falling, finally coming through. So, mm -hmm. starting going from bottom to top in the drivers championship with zero points, it is the Williams, Mercedes, and the Ferrari drivers of Replin One Shot, DRT Evo, or Evo and sink dan they're the only three drivers who hasn't scored a point let me go up to the next driver ahead of them which is mega centurion in the afro Romeo with two points shrimper 84 in the other race in the racing point with six points stygian in the mclaren with eight points and then we get into double digits storage 15 15 15 in the Renault with 10 points Caesar to Wizard in the Afro Male with 12 points. Magic Market for Williams with 15 points. Malibu or Malibu in the Haz with 16 points. Grunty in the Alpha Tari with 17 points. We got JJ Hudson in the Red Bull with 22 points. With uh, Steffi Weffy Gamer. I think I said that right. Uh -huh. uh, in the other Red Bull with 28 points. Then you got Alpha, uh, little little sparks in the other Alphatory with 34 points. With Iris Josh SO4 in the house with 41 points. Rizzi in Renault with 47 points. FFR Milan in Ferrari with 58 points. And then you got Dangerous Dan in the Mercedes with 59 points. Lukey for Racing Point with 97 points. And at the moment, the only driver to hit triple digits. It is Muddy Biscuit for the McLaren team with 119 points. Yeah, well, DPS Racing was asked who's leading the championship. That answers your question, Muddy Biscuit. Mr. Muddy. Um, 
Of course, he can lose the championship tonight, uh, Blazer, if Luki obviously wins and Muddy has an absolute nightmare. But as I said, he's been in the points every race so far this season. And the lowest has been a seventh. So all about consistency. Yeah. But... I wish I knew something about that. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because, um, because I'm I'm no longer racing this season, yeah. commentating. So uh -huh. that's the way it has. The way 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 it's turned out you know i'm not yeah i will miss the racing but it is is what it's gonna do for the league oh, oh breezy no Binged it. Oh. that's uh right the castle section no, we, gotta, we have our verse went aboard with mega as well and mega was just with there as well so i don't know if there was a collision between breezy and mega or mega just hits the uh crashed out reno uh ghosting is on so he should have if he sh if he didn't then then he must have had a they must have had a little collision between the two then we don't know oof but uh, so... Milan, Milan is out as well but if he was out early yeah he retired in the pits so he must have had a quality does he have a quality ban uh he must have no, so that's the only reason why they would yeah uh, but yeah pretty happened. easy that's a bit of a surprise yeah, definitely. That's a shocker. So something definitely happened there in the castle section. I think between uh, Mega and Breezy, or it's just Breezy just done it himself. But we don't know, really. None of us are actually involved with that. Ooh. I just realised DPS actually in the chat. I haven't heard from him for a while. Yeah, we're in yeah. season four DPS. Definitely. Going, going very well. Going strongly. Yeah, and there goes Grunty with a 39.8. Going piece nine. Here, um, Hippo yeah. Bird uh, saying, uh, Hippo saying, we can't see Michael on track. Oh, with a no. sad emoji. Yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't do my tactical thing then on Wednesdays now. God damn it. Yeah, this is also a very tactical <laughs> removal for me, so you don't, like, scream at me if I get disqualified. Ah! Oh! That, taking a break from racing, that's all it is. What? I just got confirmation from Eyes the Best. Thank you, mate. Ooh. Um, well, of course, Milan has a qualifying ban, so that's why he went ahead. But oh, Breezy okay. was not supposed to go out on track. He has a qualifying ban. Oh. Breezy had a qualifying ban, so I don't know. Even though he didn't set a lap, of course, he was on an out lap. I think it was. But uh, yeah. Oh no. Not Breezy. Malibu. Oh, Malibu has a. Oh, Malibu hasn't retired yet, so. I was going to say then. Yeah, so. So Breezy did, mm. don't have a fine band. Sorry for the confusion. It is actually Malibu, not Breezy. It is Malibu. Uh, so, um. But actually, now it comes taking that into consideration. So maybe there was maybe contact between. Breezy and Mega Centurion in a uh, castle or something like that. We do not know. We were still on board. All I was, I just saw on board with it uh, on the after. Only assuming. Yeah. If there's a clip, then we'll wait until we see the clip. But yeah. But there you go. So it's Malibu and uh, Breezy with uh, not uh, Malibu and Milan with quality bands. See now you confuse now you confusing I'm Breezy in the chat. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I it's not too breezy, it's don't not worry. Breezy, I mean Malibu. I got confused with. Eyes the best confused me at first. Let me. <laughs> oh, so, so, you, so you're blaming Eyes the best? Well, he, he literally messaged me saying, at first he says Breezy and Malibu have qualifying bands, and then he corrected saying Milan, sorry, not Breezy. <laughs> yeah, D, yeah, DPS saying everyone has a qualifying band. Everyone should. <laughs> Everyone's doing it wrong. Dude, They're all set times. Let's do Oprah. Let's do Oprah free, uh, meme. You get a qualifying ban. You get a qualifi qualifying ban. Everybody gets a qualifying ban. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, Luke! Wait. How? What? How did it? How's he not out? How are you not out? I survived this wind there. I looks like it. Lucky. Chat. Chat. 
I can't confirm this. I was looking down, I just heard a clonk when he's going through the castle section, and he's hit, I look up, and he's like embedded into the tire wall, and yet, oh, Stygian, that's a bit harsh from Stygian. A validation on the last corner. That how has he survived that? Oh, so it was so slow speed he lives. Well, yeah. okay. I, I've 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 retired when it's twenty miles an hour, so I don't get that. You probably hit it at an angle, and Stygian is back into mm. the pitch. Stygian's in trouble. Yeah. Three minutes forty-seven. Uh, trying to set a lap, but I can't set a lap. Same time he's on a lap. Luke, Luke as well. Are they? Oh, are they going to make it back out in time? Three minutes thirty. Yeah. Easily. They only just. I'm on board with Mega Centurion, who's actually mm -hmm. on a lap. It's just going through the left nine degree corner now. Walking the same car number as I am. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of my personal favourite tracks to watch and to race as well because I don't know what it is. It's just maybe I like 90 degree corners because this is basically I like racing. you know a third of the track. I like racing on this track. Not as much as I did it did like did on last season because it, the race kind of ended early for me last season. I wish I could have had the season up. before. But the two seasons before, in season one, season two, and F four were my best drives. What was it? What was it? The season before last, you spun under the safety car, I think. Yeah. And became a meme. Yeah. It was in part the meme of you, but you still ended up winning. I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Season one, season two, RSF one. I was in F four at Baku. I won. I was. I went back to back. And well, last season I was actually trying to. I think I was going to be trying to be the first driver to in RSF one to make it back uh -oh. to back to backwards. But uh oh, DPS work. is going to start this debate. This track is the worst on the calendar in game. No, it's not. No. No, there are, there are many worse. Bahrain. Uh, no. Bahrain. Bahrain. Vietnam. Russia. Spain. Russia now. Uh, for me. Russia last year was fine. Russia this year is... I don't particularly like You know the reason why? Because they put huge orange curbs at every, every stupid apex. The tracks that I hate on this game. Bahrain. Spain. Um... Um, some Ooh. parts of Singapore, uh, some parts yeah, of Russia. Um, Ooh, the grunt. I think Dan's actually going to say that. Um, that's really it. And I think Dan goes second quickest with a 138.5. We have a Dan 1 2. We have a Dan 1 2. Stygian is now on his lap. Has he actually made it out in time? Luke, he has as well, so yeah, let's yeah. get one more bite of the cherry. Here comes Mon Grunty. Guys, no, Monaco tonight. is not the worst track. Monaco is the best track. I love Monaco. Here's, here's what I've it, like, stated really the last... You track you can't get the rhythm. Yeah. What wings do I think they're running? Low ones. Dude. What I would do. Well... You want a low for this track. You four, want a low wing. Four eight, four nine. You want a low front wing to handle the front straight line speed. But a high but, rear. But a high rear to handle the corner st stability, especially around the castle. And so attraction. It's, uh, and attraction. So probably like a two mm. six. I would say two six, maybe two seven, maybe two five. Yeah. Well, there goes Malibu. I just realised we're losing one two three. 1918, 17. So yeah, we should have 15 go through, but Luki and Stigian need to set laps here. Oh, and Stigian bounces over the curb. That's a weird curb. Obviously, we'll take take a lap with someone in a bit, but that's a weird curb because a weird corner. Because believe it or not, if you cut right over that corner, you get away with it. But if you bounce over that curb, that could chuck you into the wall on the right hand side, and you will not have a good time. But Stygian needs to beat a 39.7, that would put Evo under pressure. 
Evo okay, is on the left. Stigin, yes. Stigin, yep. Yeah. Stigin just makes it. Evo is currently nearly two tits down in the first egg on this lap at the moment. Evo's going to be in trouble then because yeah. Luki, I would expect to leap up here. Oh, only to 14th. Yep. So uh, Evo's game. Evo's half a second up. Five and a half tenths up on this lap. This will knock uh, Centurion out. Yeah. Maybe. Well, be close though. Yeah. I think it'd be close to kid lock out, knock out uh, Centurion if he keeps going. And. <laughs> he does. I can't tell. Oh, he does go 12. So Mega Centurion is out. And he's. He's recently got promoted, I think, a couple of races ago. From F three or four, and he's only just missed out. Look, a hundredth of a second behind Luki, who is a championship contender. Very close times, considering it's Baku as well. There's like three tenths separating sixth to sixteenth. Yeah, definitely very close, and uh, well, it's going to be like this during, at the end of the first part of Q one. Q2 and Q3 is going to be even more tighter. Hmm. I, I've stated over the last few seasons when commentating on this, I always would say that Baku is more dangerous than Monaco. Because it's faster. I mean, you're going from like long straights down to, oh my god, it's clouded over a bit. We could potentially see rain. Yeah, rain around here is diabolical. I like it. Um... I like it too, but it's it, yeah, Very unpredictable. really sorts, really sorts out the uh, men from the boys. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I I think Baku is more dangerous than Monaco because Monaco, unless you're those type those type of people that are like oh it's Monaco, I just go in with like one lap practice. You do multiple laps of Monaco practice, don't you, before you go into it, because you need that mindset, you need that concentration at least at Baku you get straights to kind of breathe a little bit before Monaco Monaco's lap is relentless yeah and you barely get any time like mentally to breathe uh, whereas as I said with these long straights at least you you know you can sort of plan maneuvers a little bit yeah. you can sort of you know where's my strategy <laughs> going how much fuel do I have left how much ERS do I have left why is the key selecting West I don't like the look of this he does this he does this <laughs> yeah it's a thing that Luki does. Yeah, I see what I did for the Monaco, for Monaco, in the, in the race. I didn't end it well in the race. But what I always do, like, I, um, even if I'm working on that day, like the day on the race, I'm like, I'm at work. I'm not just going to work, of course. But Ooh. in my mind, I'm practicing a lap of Monaco, how I'm going to take it, how quick I could possibly go. Yeah. So I'm always practicing Monaco in my mind, even if I'm at work. And then when I go, up, when I come back from work, switch on the game. If I want to practice on Monaco, I'll practice on Monaco. But if I if I don't practice on Monaco, it's because I think I know how I'm going to do it and just go for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, that's... Draco's just about to start a lap. Yeah, do you mind me taking it? Yeah, go right ahead. You can, you can take Q3. Yep. Um, right, let's ride a ball with Draco in the racing point machine. Up to 210 miles an hour. Yep, yeah, down into the braking. So for turn one and 90 degree left hand. He can run the car just over that curb, but not too much because of the track limits, etc. etc. Turn two, another 90 degree left hander. Can run on the car a little bit, but you do have that wall on the right hand side. And then opening up the DRS down this second long straight down into turn three another 90 degree left hander down into turn four now we have a 90 degree right hander we've got to be careful on the curve on the right hand side because that can throw the car as a lot of people can do on this and then five and six you can use that curb on the left to drag the car around but curb on the right there if you hit that too much again that spits the car out then into turn seven give seven and eight and then into the castle section, you need to have utter bravery, turn the car in, and just, yeah, basically that's how close you've got to go to the walls. Thread the car through, mind the traction on the exit. 
and then up over the rise. Quickly flat out for these next through left handers, but you've got to judge your braking zone for this, the brind. Downhill left hander, you can bump over that curb, but don't abuse it too much because you'll be having a face full of wall on the exit. And then this exit here is very, very crucial because you've got this long front straight, but you're full throttle for a good, what, 20, 30 seconds. Might not be that much, but it's definitely a very long time. And your work is done for the lap. you just got to pray it's good enough. As you open the DRS, get to the line. Where is this going to be for Draco? So mid 38s. It's a high 38. Might need to go quicker than that, but decent bank collapse so far. Yeah, definitely. It's a bank lap so far. It's just setting the pace. Um, it's probably if he's going to do another lap run on maybe on a fresh set as well. He's going to probably so he probably uh, lower the fuel a little bit more to uh, to help you uh, out there as you see stars there going a 38.6 with his lap. Mark I was talking to, yeah, nice one, Mark as well. I was talking to Muddy Biscuit before this race started. They're basically saying about a lap time the strategy, what people would do. Um, in terms of lap times, he's saying if anybody hits a 37, basically take your hat off to them. You'll be very surprised if the 37 is hit, and that, I'm the same with that. I think a low 38 maybe for pole potentially. As for strategy, if it stays dry, because we haven't been told, you know weather or anything else like that if it stays dry it's the good thing about tonight it seems to be is it's very flexible um the common is uh softs to hards or mediums to hards obviously mediums to hards um obviously the ideal strategy if you work work it out but also two stop strategy isn't too far behind so we could see a lot of flexible strategies especially with safety cars here um, Blazer. Um, yes. Planning for a two-stop might actually be a good thing. Yes, definitely. A, a two-stop can be wise to do around here, especially if the safety car, I mean, how close to the walls you are in this track, especially when you're racing. And um, there's a quite of a high chance of getting a safety car. I mean, every time we've raced around here and watching it, the races through every tier throughout the last four seasons, we've had at least more than one or two safety cars around this track and uh, it's a very common thing to happen and it's just a matter of time of when it's going to happen and where it's going to happen I mean it could happen anywhere you could probably have a big crash at turn one on the first lap and it got the safety car the car se section could cause the safety car the night be left hander as you're about to um oh we've got rain oh rain I, I, I did wonder, I did wonder why the uh, clouds had gathered, and now we know. Well, this is a problem. Yes. Gotta get their laps done. Laps done. And it depends how long this rain's gonna last for and how heavy it's gonna drop. It could definitely change everything. Um, cause if you... Let's see what Caesar Wizard gets. Yeah. Let's see what Seven, 40.0. Yeah. Um, Anything could happen. I mean, look at uh, last season, for example, Vietnam F3. I don't want to try to be bigger or some sh stuff like that. But, <laughs> I mean, I have a look at that then. Uh, the rain was really coming down in F3 last season at Vietnam. And, but it, of course, I was facing it. I was the one that got grabbed hold there and made an idiot of myself on the race. But, um, yeah, I mean, the rain was coming down in Vietnam, it was literally heavens coming down, but it was still quick enough to go on the soft tyres. Now, how have I managed to get the car on the track and set, managed to get that car on pole on those soft tyres? Who knows, it's just... I think it's just the ty get, trying to get the timing right to set that lap in these conditions. We might see a few surprises here in this uh, Q2 blazer. Yeah. It puts a lot of pressure on the guys that have actually chosen to start in the mediums. Yes. Uh, Caesar, Lukey, Stigeon, Sparks. 
Morris. You're going to nail the lap because this rain is only going to get worse. Yeah. Uh, Jay Moore saying it's a 20 stop race. Well, yeah, it can. Well, it could be more than a one or a two stop race because your wings could go everywhere if you make that slight mistake. Uh, Steffi, you know, Stevie, or Steffi goes sent fastest, the 39 4 there on the pair of socks. He'll be joined by his teammate Hudson. Teammate goes 8. 39 8. So, yeah, that's, that's put Luki on danger. the bubble into 10th. So, what is Evo going to do? Evo is 13th. 13th. Draco has. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Draco's out! Draco's out! Oh no, no, okay, mm. that's good, that's good. Oh. oh, no, no, he's retired in the pits. Yeah. Oh, I saw a racing point. think for a second. There was a racing point at Castle, and it was Lukey. Oh, yeah, he's in the wall. Yeah, he's damaged his wing. He must be lucky to get away with that then, or otherwise. Oh, he hits the wall again. Um. Oh. <laughs> I am stupid! In, uh, in Baku, as <laughs> you probably came on here. <laughs> well, look, he almost did do a uh, Charles like a, I am stupid moment there. Yeah. I'd probably guarantee you to do it in qualifying or in the race tomorrow. I mean, I mean, I said, I said in my sort of kind of preview for this race, I said someone's someone's going to bid it in Castle Section. It's just who and how many. Oh yeah, I mean, we really did see one happen uh, in Q1. Well, we didn't really see it happen, but. We saw on the track map that it was Breezy who was the first victim of the castle section. Hmm. Uh, well, the way, I, the way I always... Happen, but, um... The way I always uh, sort of judge Baku here is... Uh, it's, it's kind of silly saying it because oh, yeah. it's not completely completely the make or break of your lap, but it is depending on how brave you are through that section. Because if you can fly through there, you're gaining about a good two, three, or four tenths, yeah. even in that quarter alone. But the way I do it is like Q1 and Q2, give it a little bit of caution. Oh, yeah. Q3 is the only time in the entirety you race this track, even the race, where you just go fly in there and just hope it sticks. Yeah. Just read in the chat here um, DPS Racing saying, place your bets, how many crashes at Castle. Then Jay Moore and Hippo saying 4.13. I's the best same. Yeah. Yep, I's the best same. Blazer for podium. Mate, you've got more chance of me try crashing out then. Um, than getting a podium. Oh. Speaking of crashing, Grunty's just uh, mistimed his brakes completely okay. into turn two. It says how wet that is. Yep. Uh, Jay Moore then saying um, Camo to win by 20 seconds. And apparently, uh, I think it was Jay Moore saying. Uh, oh. if, if I had, sevens. if I had a bit, if I had a pound for every person to put in a, such a bold prediction that went wrong, I'd be very, very rich right now. Well, nobody could put a wrong so prediction many. on me because every, what you could say is me to crash out, and there you go. That's your prediction. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah. I mean, look at me. I've, my... I've crashed out every race. All the first ten races at this moment so far, I haven't scored a single point. Is it frustrating? Yes. Am I annoyed with it? Yes. But hey, I, I, I still keep that up. I still try. But yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even if I end of the season, we're still on the point. What's the record? I, I, yeah. What's the record for the least amount of drivers finishing a race? Oh, um, God. Didn't we? No, didn't we have that in the four? Uh, Baku. Six. We, we had five or six. Five wasn't or six, it? wasn't it? In Baku, it was where I went in. It was Hell King Tommy finished second, I remember. Yes. It was season oh, one of season King two. Tomo. Those yeah. were the days. Oh yeah, those were the days. It was season one of season two in there for. I remember that because I managed to survive the castle section and do a lot the last couple of laps with a fr red front wing. Oh yes. And winning that race. Oh yeah, mem yeah, I remember that. I remember King that. Tomo what was it? It was, it was. Trying yeah. to catch me. Yes. And one of you two was going to win your first race, and it's like. I remember commentating on that race as well. I said, oh no, he's damaged his front wing. Can he survive? Tomo's catching him. Oh! Yep. Yeah. Oh. Ah, man, just skip. A little... Got that. I don't know. Little... Sorry, um, little Sparks and Eva are desperately trying to get through on these tyres, but I don't think it's going to work. This, this track is just completely done. You can see on board with Sparks, it's just not getting the turning at all. The car's so sluggish. 
Yeah, uh, that's what, um, just give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, that's what Brundle and, uh, had a big clonk on the other side. There, but yeah, Eva on the other side of the wall had a clonk on board, um, Sparks' car. Evo's bombed it into the wall, and I think he's done. I, I admire the, uh, the effort from Sparks, but I don't think he's going to make it through, which means Lukey is going to make it through. So who's made it through on mediums? Only him and uh, Caesar's actually made it through on mediums. Yeah, and uh, Sparks has completely backed out of it. Yeah, I used the word clonk. Well, what, other than clonk then, what word would you use? If clonk is not the word... Wait, what's, what's happening? Oh, DRS disabled, there you go. Intermediate tyres. Ooh, yep. we're gonna have wet conditions in Q3. On times. Well, I, I, there's a, there's a big, big debate in the chat now because they're judging me for using the word clonk. We're on board with Sparks, because I heard like a, you know, you know the noise, noise you get when um, a clunk cars hit a wall? When the cars hit a wall? I was on board with Sparks, and of course, because bon, of how donk. close the track track is. Badonk! Yeah, <laughs> badonk. Because of how close the track is, I heard I heard a knock. And because Sparks didn't hit the wall, I thought, oh, it's the person on the other side, it was Evo. And I was right. Blank. Yeah, right, so good. out in Q... <laughs> Sorry, so out in Q2, uh, Stigeon only just missing out in 11th, Little Sparks in 12th, Evo 13th, Josh 14th, and Grunty 15th. Very unfortunate because obviously the timing of the rain. We never really got to see the proper pace. That was all based on could they get their lap in. Caesar and Luke are the only two that went through on the medium tyres, and that could be key. When we get to the race, but obviously they've got to qualify well to make yeah. it work. And yet again, Luki only just scraping it to the next round oh. of qualifying. Second time in a row there. So, I could um, have his luck. Oh, jeez, is that really chucking it down? Uh -huh. It is intermediate. This is what I like to see. Right, I'm gonna. But, I'm... I would say predictions. But, um,. You know. Anyone's. <laughs> this is completely anyone's. This, this track completely changes when it comes to wet weather. This could be 45 um, or 50s. Yeah, potentially. A lot of spray coming up. This might be a uh, full wets before any time soon. So this could be a situation of get your lap in quick on the intermediates before it gets too wet. Look at the spray coming up. It definitely, it'll be a, definitely a matter of time until we see a car in into castle. Can you imagine if all ten, if all ten, don't set a lap time because they all they all crash at castle? Wow! Well, don't expect it. <laughs> yeah, this track completely changes when it's wet weather because you just slide all over the place. It's all well, about the right. momentum now. Yeah. So I'll break a lot more earlier, turn a little bit more sharper, be careful on the traction. Short shift. Short shift. I think. How C is it going to take? Oh, look how cautious. <laughs> Didn't chuck the car in at all. Where well, he is on an outlap, it would be completely pointless to chuck it into Castle at this point. Now, see, as it is now, it's raining. I mean, yeah, Castle section is going to be dangerous now. But also, I mean, that double left hand corner as well. Yeah. Or triple left hand where he's gone through, that could be dangerous. Even the last two corners, the fast left, right. Yeah, I was going to say that. That is definitely going to I was going to say that, actually. You have to lift no matter what. You can't take a flat out. Yeah, you can see Caesar lifting a little bit because the car just wants to slide and get away from you. Yep. Yeah. Right. Go on board with Caesar Wizard. As I will go yeah, take us through. on board. So, as Caesar Wizard goes through, there's coming towards the starfish straight with 203 miles per hour. Breaking into turn one. Quite a slight lock up in the front there, and it takes it a second. Short shift up to third. A little traction on the uh, Twitchy on the XL turn one, but goes through turn two now. 
as we got a car out, and that is Draco. Draco's out. Corner. But down the next long straight on the edge of turn two, which would be DRS, but because of these wet conditions, we've got none of it. In towards turn three, big lock up on the front left there as he starts to turn in. Now, short just up and starts to break again for turn four. Now, Bobby be careful here towards five and six, a lock up again on the front. That's what the dry setup will happen when you're running the words. Now six is uh, five and six was nice. Now into four, seven and eight. I'm amazed the amount of lockups he's yeah. doing and still getting the car turned. Now here comes the final section. Ten, ten, eleven, twelve. Into four, thirteen. He left it. He left a lot on the table through there. Yeah, he kept that nice and tight. Now into four, thirteen. With a lift. lift. Oh. 15, now in towards turn 16, a big front double lock up there in 16, but man to keep on doing dive into 18, the last breaking zone, but what would be, I think, well, wouldn't it be, yeah, last breaking zone in towards 29 to 21 and 22, a slight lift, there you go, puts the power fully back down now. And releases all of its power. It going at 203 miles per hour in these conditions, crossing the line. The 152 one. That was a pretty solid lap. Looked pretty good from where I was sitting. 53 zero for Muddy hasn't featured near the top of the qualifying, but he's he's. Getting through, which is what you need to do. Look, he's invalidated, so ooh, Digi Hudson is looking sharp. Oh, you're not lifting. Ugh. He's really risked that, not lifting. Yeah. It could either gain time or you could lose time through there. 52 9. Yeah, that lap from Caesar is looking uh, strong as they'll go through. And with a bit of a slide as he comes up to the line now. Irish with a 54. No, no ripping one shot is not pole because he's not here. Yeah. Tinder stand with a 54 1, just quicker than Starridge. And what about Magic Mark? 54 8. 54 8. It's me, was the track getting well, maybe worse? Yeah. Because obviously Caesar and Muddy were the first two to cross the line. Only Hudson, who was obviously behind them, has beat them. The rest have... Again, though, times actually might get better because you just feel the car and just judge the conditions. Yeah. I think he's coming back out with another set of uh, fresh injuries, of course. What's happening with Caesar? Caesar's a couple of attempts up. Go for another lap, but he's actually gone back to the pits. Let's see how Hudson is getting on. Hudson is. Oh, he's a tenth down. Very bold to do that last corner though. <clears throat> He's not pushing it though. He's probably coming in. Low fuel. Yeah, probably. Dangerous stands. Eight tenths up on his lap. Through the middle sector. Oh! oh, turning too early. Turning too early for those last two. What about Magic Mark? He's pushing on his lap. I don't know if he's up or not. I feel like, well, looks yeah, like I feel like he is. No, I don't think it was up on his lap. No. So sink down is going to be next. In um. Oh, Laser, is the rain stopping? Rain has stopped. The rain has stopped. Yeah. 
<laughs> I like that. Hippo saying, is it time for full wets? Uh, the rain stop, Hippo. Oh, Dan! 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 No! And he's going into the barriers like a ping pong. Going on a ping pong table. I was, I was certain as soon as he got the slide he was going to be out, but he's just pinged off both walls and is he going to finish the lap? No? Of course not. Yeah, see, now they're looking at the drives because the rain stopped and this is only going to get quicker. And look, he's now on his lap. Right, here we go. Steffi Gamer. Let's see what the Red Bull driver does. Just wants to get a lap on the board. Goes third. 7 Third, just quicker than his teammate. Muddy actually did improve. Mark. I've... Look at Mark. He's getting those tires ready. They're looking at it. They're looking at it because obviously in the gar in the garage, as you know, Blazer, they're just going to be continually looking at the time delta, yeah. which I think is continuously going to go down. But I I don't know. Is this going to be dry enough Lukey's for a lap really at the end? Struggling through that castle section. There's still spray. I I'd say you can just got to pop on another set of intermediates and go for it. Imagine Mark switches back to the inches at the moment. So yeah, should we find out? Be a gamble to go on dries. Oh, Luke! Big slide out the corner. I think Steffi's up on his lap again. I think he went purple in the first sector. <laughs> Hippo. Two tenths up, so. Hippo's kind of twisting my words a little bit. I said he left a lot on the table through Castle. I know it's pole, but. I was saying he could have been more committed. I'm not saying, I'm not saying he was. Bad commit. There we go. Luke can come to the line. Go second. Right. What about Steffi? Through the middle sector. Fastest in the middle Off sector. The nearly six heads up on the lap. Jack's getting. Jack's getting quicker. Jack's getting you got to be last across yep. the line. Jack's getting quicker. Funny biscuit. Looks like looking at the soft tyres. Still a lot of spray. I think it's too much of a gamble. Far too much of a gamble. So here, here comes Steffi. Steffi. This is going to prove to me. Yep. Yep, it's a 51 9. Last over the line, this is going to be. Yep. And one of the last come out the pits, but he's got a motor round his muddy biscuit because there he is. He's just past turn one. He's got a completely fly round. And he's on softs. He's on soft tyres. He's really going for it. Jimmy Hudson is on a lap now on his inches. Let's see how he gets on. I don't think this is going to work. Of all the of all the people to gamble, it's like this is worth a gamble, I guess, because you could be very, very lucky, get across the line, and then the DRS enabled. But championship he's leader isn't he? Doesn't, on the lap. He doesn't need to. I think he's improving. Uh, Six temps up, yep. This could be the fastest lap. In fact, he's just getting quicker and quicker. It's going to be in the 50s. Comfortably. Comfortably. 51.4. 51.4. But it's, it's going to be whoever crosses the line and commits with their lap. They've just got to keep going round. Uh, who's going to be next? Racing point of Lukey, who it is 1.1 seconds up. Yeah, could be in the 50s. Ooh, close to 51 one, two. It's it coming is, down. It it's coming down. Oh, JJ Hudson is gone straight the on gone. that parcel. What's happening with Muddy? Where is Muddy? How is he getting on with those softs? Just going through. Oh, the last one Dan. Now. Dan's chucked it into the wall castle. His, his attempt is done. Oh, Hudson's just completely taken off his front wing. Muddy Biscuit was almost sideways in the last corner. Is he going to make the line? He's not going to make the line. He's not going to make it. No. Hudson doesn't improve. Dan doesn't improve. Dan is 1.5 down. Storage is up. Storage marks sink down. Oh, Magic Mark it. is up on this lap. It's going to be first. It's going to be sink down first. No. Sees a wizard first. 
Eight temps down, though. The RS enabled. Oh. Rock wing damage. Yeah, Caesar was going to do it. Oh, almost they... lost it. Oh. Starridge has chucked it into the wall, but he's going to get DRS. Look, he's 1.7 down. Everyone that's on the left is going to get DRS. They're going to get huge speed. And Off Starridge goes full. Starridge. It's Mark or Dan. It's Mark or Dan for the taking here. Um, so, Lukey. No, yes. Mark or Dan. Mark or Dan, I think, for pole. Potentially, it comes Dan. Doesn't make Here's it. Fifty-two. Here comes Mark. Ooh, I think Mark got it. it. Bird, yes, good lap right at the end. So Luke, he actually hang on to pole and all that. Yeah. Well done. So that's the classification and. For the top 10 of the race, looking on pole, Caesar was in second, Magic Mark third, Steffi in fourth, Starge in fifth, Sink Dan in sixth, Muddy in seventh, Hudson in eighth, Dan in, Dangerous Dan in ninth, and then Abe Draco, who crashed out at the fast left right in the final corners, will start in period 10. Just realised, Blaze, are the two people that. Could got through on mediums in that Q2 session are starting first and second. Yeah. Oops. Definitely. Luki and Caesar will be both starting on medium tyres for this race. Don't be told it's dry. It is dry because it's, it's the sunshine. Look at it. As if the rain never happened. Sunshine. He'd invite Luki, but he's not just... <laughs> Look at everyone outside the top 10. We're going to race director. And they might have changed, but everyone was on hearts. <laughs> they are on hearts! Everyone. I think they might change that, though. But at the moment, that's like. That's going kind of like my strategy style. Hmm. All right. Oh, yep. Yeah, one car changed. Mr. Manabo is on the mediums. Oh, another car changed. Mr. Josh is on the mediums. They're changing tires. Hmm. Now, if I was... Oops, oh, sorry. Yeah, go on, sorry. I'm saying, now, if I was right on the... Of course, Season 1 and Season 2 was on the last game, weren't it? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And if, if I was right, I think it was either the first Season 1 or Season 2, I actually started on the harder tyres, and it actually kind of worked. Yep. Um... That'll be a couple of seasons ago, I think, yeah. when we won that race. That's a, that was a crazy race. Tons of safety cars, yeah. I think, in that one. Marble wing changes for everyone. Yes. But, uh, yeah, but of course, on this game, it's all going to be completely different. I mean, it was completely different last season. It's going to be kind of similar to like last season for this season on this game. Um, but it, I think it's just how the weather's going to be and how well you're going to avoid traffic with the drivers ahead of you. Like um, now you're get, you're on the you're on the track preparing your strategy, your fuel, uh, just final readjustments on your like your tire pressures or your front on your front wing or your setup, uh, brake pressure, uh, front brake bias and stuff like that. Um, you also now got to try to keep a clear head, just think of how you're going to do, just got to think how everybody's going to be off, like on the start, if they're on different tyres, how quickly, it's like how quickly they're going to get off the line, you got to also think um, just at turn one, because it's a short run to turn one, and anything can happen, uh, you could go two side by side there, normally you could go 
you follow a single file or go side by side, but make sure you leave enough gap. You never want to try to go th three or two one, or otherwise you're going to have a yeah. bigger crack, big crash, and it's going to be a massive concertina effect to the drivers behind you, which could also ruin their race with their strategy if they're going for the alternate strategy with the start to save, for example, or starting on the hard tires or stuff like that. So, um. It's going to be a crazy one to see what's going to happen for the race, to be fair. The start the start is always critical, this one, because as you said, it's such a short run down to turn one. You're, you're what, a couple of seconds and then you're in into it. And then you've got the narrowness of turn two. You've even seen in real life, 2017, that crazy race, which I would, I would label as the best modern race. Maybe if you then include Germany into that, into that discussion, but it's definitely up there. Mm. Hockenheim 2019? Very 18 or 19 when, that, when the rain, so... Mm. Right. Um, but yeah, could be could be an interesting one. Yeah. Take right. us through it. Take us through in the driver lap formation out there. So starting in P19 in the Buongiorno Renault car, Nana, is Breezy in P19. For the Scuderia Ferrari, we have got FFR Milan in P18. In the Pain in the Ass House in P17, we have got Malibu. And in P16, it is the Alfa Romeo of Mega Centurion. P15 it is the Alfa Tari of Crunchy. 36. We're ahead of him, uh, behind. And ahead of him is the other Pain in the Ass. Benny Nias has car of RS Josh in P14. In P13 is the Black Mercedes DRT Evo on the medium tyres with little sparks in the other Alpha Tari in P12. In P11 it is the Papaya Working Cup Team McLaren of Stigen with the Racing Point, Tracy Point, Pink Mercedes of P10 of Abe Draco. In P9 is the other black Mercedes of Dangerous Dan. Lining uh, in front of him it is the Red Bull of JJ Hudson. In P17 is the other working McLaren car of Mighty Biscuit with the uh, McLaren's famous. Oh, is that Italian? My bad. I'm I'm <laughs> weird now. Um, Carry on. Yep. In P6 it is the Italian car of Sink Dan. With P5, it is the French car of storage. P4 is Red Bull of Steffi, uh, Steffi Weffy Gamer on the soft tyres. In P3, it is Williams of Magic Bar, who went on the Magic Slide. That I appreciate that. Yeah, I saw that's great. And then our top two cars is Caesar 2 Wizard in the Alfa Romeo, and then in pole position in the pink Mercedes. It is Loki 1210. Let's get ready to race. Mm -hmm. Key thing will be the start of the front two. They're going to be under attack immediately from this soft tire gang, which at the head of that is Magic Park and Steffi Weffy Gamer. Big race for Loki. He can potentially take the championship lead away from Muddy Biscuit. Requires Muddy to have a disastrous race and him to win it, but he's very much capable of doing so. Can he do that? Those on the hards, you got Little Sparks, Grunty, Centurion, Milan, and Breezy, a safety car early doors will be helpful for them. It's also 26 laps. Also, a six car gap between Luki, who's starting in pole, and Muddy Biscuit in seventh. So, six cars mm -hmm. separates them. All right, let's hope we can have a proper start with no issues. We've had no problems. Had to, had to be three, four, five red lights. No, that's that's terrible. Anyway, <laughs> away we go. <laughs> away we go. And uh, the Alfa Romeo of uh, Centurion got ahead. That's not Centurion. Wizard has got ahead of Luki. Actually, he's taken the lead ahead of the racing point. They both stayed one two actually, which is interesting. There's many many ghosting cars going through turn two. But Luki is looking. Luki is looking. Luki is looking to try and get the lead back from Caesar Wizard. But Caesar Wizard in the Alfa Romeo leads ahead of Luki. And then Magic Mark is in third. There's a 
Bit of a gap behind. There's it's been a all cluster. Effect. What is going on here? There's uh, three wide. Steffi, Weffy, Gamer. Oh, uh, there's, oh connection there's connection between storage and storage and it's Dan. chaos. It's chaos back Dan here. And safety, it's a car. safety car. Yes. And I'm not surprised because oh, what on earth was going on? Granty just got a five um, second time penalty for gaining the position. Uh, no. Uh, Granty got a five second time penalty for severe collision with DRT Evo. Evo didn't get one himself and normally... Wow. Hectic start. I didn't see anybody going like completely around but I guess there's a lot of debris so... Safety car, I guess. Yeah, that's a weird one. Um, I think what it was, uh, what started to happen with the Constantine effect, it was at the exit of turn four or turn three, it was uh, with Steffi Refi Gamer. Uh, something happened to, between him and um, I think between him and Magic Mark, I don't know who, but he lost so much momentum, and that's where the pack bunched up from turn four towards turn oh. five. So, uh, it looks I like they were going. <clears throat> looks like they were going three wide for a turn. One, two, three, Marks turn four. Did Mark oh. any damage out of that? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Saw so, uh, Renault and um, somebody else connect. I think it was Storage, and might have been Mark as well. It might have been a Ferrari. Yeah, uh, would have been no, a Ferrari. Mark's of got no front wing change. So the front wing changes are Hudson, Sink Dan. Josh, yeah, I think Centurion and Grunty. Yeah, it's a hectic start. I don't think really there was anything malicious in there. It's just they got so close, as you say, with the bunching up on the exit of turn three. And you know, of course, you're racing. You go for a gap, go for the opportunity. Timing pages are like, what's going on? But I'll let them sort out because I am focusing on Stygian and his start, which is ridiculous. But we'll let it sort itself out, which it will. Is this doing so? Because Stygian on the medium tyres has even got ahead of his own teammate in all the confusion. From. Where did he start? It was like 12th or something? He's up into 4th. Stygian started. Uh, 11th. Just waiting for Sink Dan to. No, it'll be 4th. There we go. Yeah, 4th. So yeah, from 11 to 4th. 7 places. Fourth. Great stuff from Stigian. That's the best. Deserves the luck as well because he puts, some, puts in the hard hard effort and it's not getting rewarded in terms of the results. Maybe today all the luck can get back to him. Who's ahead of the pit stops? Uh, da, 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 stops. Magic Mark is those that have stopped. On the hard tyres as well, a couple of mediums there as well. Centurion, Hudson, and Josh on the mediums. Granting the mediums, Dan on the hards. Still a long way to go, Blaze, and they can still pick up points from that, but that's obviously yep. not ideal. Looking on the race director with uh, front wing uh, pit stops, so it was actually JJ Hudson, Sink Dan, RS Josh, and Granty who pitted. For front wing changes, Mega Centurion and Magic Mark, they've pitted uh, without any front wing repairs. Because Ma oh. Magic Mark, he started on the soft, so he went from, came in from the soft and going straight on the hards. But Mega Centurion, though, very weirdly, he decided to pit, even though he had no front wing damage, he decided to pit on hard tyres and go straight onto mediums. Um, possible theory, double medium stop, or medium soft, possibly. Maybe. Um. So the other, the other thing the safety car doesn't help is those on the soft still. Yeah. Steffi, uh, Muddy, Draco, Dan, and yeah. Storage. Seeing Hippo on the chat saying, "Will team orders come to play for McLaren?" Of course, Muddy Biscuit going for the Ooh. championship battle, and Stigian is also ahead of his teammate. For me, if I was team principal and McLaren, I would just say give each other a wide berth, don't don't hit each other because that's number one rule. But I wouldn't employ team orders at this point because Muddy has a gap. 
like I think it was 19 points or something something along those lines and it's still too early if this was like five races to go then maybe I would but we're still round one two three four five six seven this is round eight of 22 so still a long way to go Stigeon has had a brilliant start he's in a great position here if he can actually get ahead of Steffi he's in line with the leaders so yeah definitely it's, I think we're just gonna I think got a fine feeling the safety car will be coming in this lap so yeah, I think we're gonna together. be um, Caesar Wizards about to bunch the field up oh judging a safety car restart on this at this track is something else oh isn't don't it? I know it Safety car in this lap. Don't I know it? The amount right, of luck. So. I mean, the amount of luck I actually had on this track with the safety car restarts, it's been magnificent. I somehow always have the best safety car restarts around this track. Yeah. That's why it actually helped me to win. Uh, on F4, uh, Division when 4, is... Season 1 and Season 2, because of those safety car restarts. Ooh, storage. Oh, storage and Dan. When is he going to drop it? When is he going to drop it? Safety car is in. He can go now and he's going now. But look at the pack of cars behind. Muddy Biscuit's got to run on his teammate Stigeon on the outside. I'm looking back from uh, McLaren side Steffi. by side. Oh, Stigeon nearly. In the back of Steffi, but they've just worked Ooh, it out. There's uh, Storage Renault and Dan. And Dan. And Renault and Storage and Dan going crying to close. But. Oh, we've got the Red Bull, JJ Hudson was slightly going side by side with Mega Centurion and the XS Turn 2 there, but Centurion keeps hold of position. But here comes Iris Josh on JJ oh, Hudson for 16. Oh, Mercedes Evo! Jesus! Oh, Hudson almost, I think, Hudson punted the back of the Alfa Romeo or just missed out. No, he did because he's got front wing damage. The so, lunge from Evo on Sparks, that was... Almost suicidal, but it worked. And how he pulled that off without making damage, but he's got by Sparks, who is the leading car on hards at the moment. Always breezes at the wall in Castle. Yep, Ghosting a little bit, but he's got he's damage. That. He's got because, damage, though, he's yeah. going to suffer. That's the second time he's hit Castle, of course, he hit that in qualifying when he actually should have had a qualifying ban, but. He hit that in Castle, and now he's hit it in the race. And that's horrible, isn't it? Because he's on hard tyres. He's now... Well, what do I do now? Because... He's in 12th. And he's got damage, and it's just the pain of... Because he can't pit. If he Wait, pits, pit, he's basically pit. out of it. Oh, the under step. Oh, and Malibu's hit, Malibu's hit him. And Mark's going to get by through. And that was... I uh, just got caught out by the fact that Breezy has no grip. They're both in the pits. Yeah. Muddy Biscuit's now ahead of his teammate. That's fine though, because obviously Muddy's on the soft tyres. Perfectly fine. He's Draco closing the gap to Stygian, but it's not close enough yet. And he got Styles right behind Draco. Both Sturridge and Dan, they're going to be fired up from their time penalties, of course. That's going to cost them when they do pit. Oh, yeah. Of course, Breezy didn't have a qualifying, but I mean, yeah, Breezy binned in. Uh, yeah, yeah, Manabu did. Also, yeah, Manabu did. I'm one of those days, I keep forgetting. I don't know why. Ooh. You see, everyone's not completely chucking it through Castle anymore. Yeah. They understand Sturridge got. Big wobble on the exit curb. Might give uh, Dan a bit of a run. So the other thing we forgot to mention, ERS management around here is uh, quite tricky because the straights just make you be a bit greedy. As uh, Lukey has been passed by uh, Steffi. Did he go off? Because he was... He's got damage. He's got damage on the um, right right end plate. So Lukey's going to start dropping back. That's going to be muddy into it. Oh, we've got the flags. Manabu. Uh, kind of crashed it in um, castle, but kept going. Right, who did who did you say got front wing damage? Lukey. 
Oh yeah, and mission Stygian to Pan had Epic. Got passed by Draco. Draco and Stygian side by side. Draco got on the outside. Draco needs to get this move done because he's on the softs, but Stygian defends it really well. But Draco's going to get the run. Down to turn three. Especially DRS with the DRS. Ooh, Stygian moving across. So Draco going around the outside and gets, gets the move done. Yeah, that's not good for Luki at all. And now he's got his championship rival, Muddy Biscuit, climbing all over the back of him. He's a wizard doing well, though. Yeah, he is. Great start from him at the moment. I've got to say as well, FFR Milan, after having to serve his qualifying ban, he's actually up to be 11 at the moment. 1.3 yeah, behind still... Sparks. But... Yeah, still behind Little Sparks. That That's an interesting trio there, Blazer. Those three on hards. Yeah. Sparks, Milan and Mark. They could feature late in this race. As... I'm surprised Luki's not losing that much time, but he's going to be on. I don't think he's got anything to defend Here this. Here he comes. Here comes Muddy. Here we go. This will be easy done, I think. Yep. Uh, yep. We've seen behind as well. Stygian's been threatened by Storage. He's been attacked left, right, and centre. Storage has got the edge on him on the inside. Late breaking for Storage. It's like contact, but nice. Storage gets past. Oh, Stygian, don't, don't Stygian. lunge back at him. Oh no, 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 no! That was never gonna work. Hmm. <laughs> Less said about that, the better, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily for luckily for storage, game over, no damage, but he has lost a position to Dan, uh, not Dan, Evo, and all that. Breezy's Breezy back, back in the pits. pits. Breeze. Both Breezy, Breezy and Malibu, I think, have both pitted. Yeah. Still in it, though. On lap 7, still quite a way to go. How is Luki keeping up with this, with that damage? It's almost like, it's almost like he doesn't have the damage, because... He might have a go back at... Muddy. Maximum overtake, nearly hitting the back of him. Muddy, muddy in uh Steffi in as well. So Straco, yeah, all, everybody in all the, the soft tie runners. Mm -hmm. So that moves Little Sparks on the hards into fifth place. Remember you were saying earlier about you started on the hards a couple of seasons ago. Yep. Milan is well in there. Mark has dropped back behind Josh and Ooh, Centurion Grunty. and now Grunty. Grunty getting past Magic Mark for ninth. Just at turn three, that was a nice little move there. And you got Draco on being on the threat with Muddy. Battles all over the place, good to see. Right, so those that have stopped. So Mega Centurion is currently leading those that has stopped. He is on the medium is though, it... so we will have to, will have to bit again. Yeah, is it me or is Magic Mark is hasn't switched his overtaking off? Yeah, oh, he's kind of he using is. it. A, he's being greedy with it, I think, a little bit. He's already down to six percent, and it's very tricky to get that back, especially around this track. Right, let's see how close Stygian could get back to Luki here. 
Uh, Luki running 5% ERS, Stizium running 22. Uh, just out of DRS reach, Luki bits. Here comes Luke. Getting that damage out of the way. And now we're going to see some overtakes happening. We sink down a magic mark on the inside into turn one. And sink down. They're still side by side. And uh, oh. Magic Monk is going to get the traction, but with the DRS advantage, I think Dan is going to take ninth place. Good, respectful driving between the pair of them, turn one and two, not a single bit of contact. Alright, so here comes out. Dan for B15 <laughs> on storage. Alright. Oh, actually, no. Dan, start just fighting back on Dan here. These two can't get away from each other, can they? No, and uh, Star still stays ahead. So Luki's come out behind Muddy, Muddy Biscuit and five seconds. What has happened to Stigin? I'm pretty sure DRT Evo wasn't this close to Stigin. No mm. damage on the McLaren, so... Yeah. Eva could possibly have a chance down this straight for second place. It's got... about 5% more ERS saved up than Stizum does. Centurion has caught lines. up to... Centurion's caught up to the back of the land as well. Speed. Easy does it. Oh, oh Stigian, he was there. He was there. Oh. That could have ended in tears. I think his uh, right wheel will touch the barrier on the right as well. Uh, yeah. Muddy, uh, his Muddy is now ahead of Luki. What has happened to Luki there? He's lost. Oh, yeah, the damage, didn't he? Yeah. He had the damage, so... Yeah, yeah, he came up behind up, Centurion. Uh, just before, hey, like, Muddy Biscuit got past Luki. Hmm. And then Luki lost a lot of momentum, but I don't know. Yeah, possibly it was due to the front wing change. Yeah, or... it, it was damage. It was damage in the pits because um, Muddy didn't have the damage. Oh, Dan and Star just side by side in the territory. You two. Oh, Hudson, don't get involved. Don't get involved. With front wing damage. I'm starting to think Sturridge and Danger Stan need to get a room at this point. They made contact under the safety car. They're still battling, even after they pitted. This is all for 15th place at the moment. Hug it out and just hug it out and break up. There you go. Yeah. Centurion did manage to get by Milan, and he's now set off after Little Sparks. Remember, he's the highest that has stopped, but he definitely needs to pit again, as do Josh and Grunty. Dan is the highest that has stopped and is on hard tyres at the moment and can go to the end if he wants to. Yeah. And he's currently 14 seconds behind the leader. Here comes Centurion, he's getting closer and closer to the Sparks, but not close enough. But Josh and Luki, uh, Josh and Grunty are having a battle, and Grunty is now ahead of Josh. But Josh is going to have a fight back. With the DRS. Centurion's blitz past the little sparks ahead. Looks like... Oh! Evo and Stigian. Evo and Stigian, what happened there? They swapped positions. And Probably I think damage. Stigian just did... Ah, oh, Centurion, yeah. Probably. Oh, Centurion. Evo. Evo, yeah. No, I think there was slight contact between Evo and Stigian then. That's what happened. Oh, look at the pile of cars going through, just going towards this castle section ahead on yeah. the track map. Look at that. Midfield is. Oh, has Grunty clipped the wall? Did he get any damage from there? I don't. No, he got away with it, but just clipped the wall and got a massive slide as well. I tell you, Josh has got a run of Grunty here. 
but it's just, oh. just not a good overtaking position. I tell you, in all of this, look who is out in front, head down, being consistent. Mr. Caesar, Caesar Wizard got a six, got a six, sec six second gap. But it's when he pits, it's when, oh, Grunty, all out of shape for the last Ooh. couple of corners, Joss is going to have a run on him. Regime oh, please, he's in the out in the pits. Oh, he was he was way, way back. Yeah. And there he goes. Evo's in. Oh, Evo's in, yeah. Front wing damage. Mm -hmm. Get yep. rid of it. JJ Arjun with a three second time penalty. Both championship contenders at the moment, or the top two in the championship, are out the points. Still got chance of points. No, that's going to be Tyson. Hudson in the has gone as well. Yeah. Closest fight is this: these three, Milan, Josh, and Grunty, at the moment. Mark on the back of uh, Steffi. Oh, Draco in there as well. Lucky. Hmm? Look, he's lost it at turn three. Oh, now he's got these two all over. Gets away with damage, so I don't know what happened there. Uh, what lap do you think Caesar and Stigian pit? Um, not sure about mediums, actually. Uh, what they could do? What, I think what would because they go the to? Um, safety car, they can actually take those mediums a little longer and try. To Try gamble the mediums to soft. Mm -hmm. That safety car at the start, so they could probably take it a little bit longer. See, eyes, yeah, eyes is saying uh, lap eighteen. Hey, Draco. Again, Dana. Dan and stars again. Would you stop? <laughs> Honestly, you too. Josh is it? Okay. Don't go side by side through here. They made it work. Oh, storage is in the wall. That's wing damage, yeah. Mission All out of shape because he's trying to give... Yeah, sure. he's trying to give space to Dan, and which was never going to work. Into the pits. And he's in. He's had enough of that fight. Grunty is on the back of FFR Milan. Oh, yeah, because Josh pitted. And it's come out 13th on Fresh Hards. Oh yeah, that's a good point, Hippo. Um, fresh mediums for uh, Stygian. They're not fresh for Caesar. So Stygian could be in, still in all this. We have just hit halfway in this race. Lap 13. Mega Centurion is absolutely on it in this strategy at the moment. I know he has to pit again, but he's making it work. Yeah, he's right on the back of Stygian, so we could possibly... might see a move coming from Mega down this straight. It's going to be on him. I don't think Stygian has anything. Here we go. Leader pits. Caesar, Wid is it. Caesar Wizard is in. What does he go to? Can't can't surely hit take sauce to the end. Hards. Hards. Conservative. Although at the same <laughs> the same time oh. if you're leading any he... Who's hmm? that? Grunty's in the pits as well. Medium. Has he come out? It's had a money biscuit and Drake behind the battling Draco and Steffi. Who Ooh, have pitted Draco. so to, uh, Wizard has work to do. Yeah, Joker did hit the wall on the exit of turn two. And Steffi's now got past! Oh, Steffi was so close in the wall. At the exit of turn three, and that's what Draco trying to go around. Oh, what an undercut. What an undercut from Draco if he makes it work. Can he make it work? Steffi's still there. This is all Let's on board Caesar. Who yeah, doesn't need Caesar, this. Caesar doesn't want to see this happening in front of him. Oh, especially coming around the, into this corner here. Oh. oh. Muddy as well, and Mark. 
This is all for the lead. Although, I don't know whether Mark can make it to the end on 11 lap hards already, but this is all for potential lead here. Yeah, so... So Caesar Wizard, he's in a good, he's in a good place, but he's got to overtake these two. Yeah, definitely. Is, uh, ah. um, could Milan and Dan make it to the end on their tyres, although they've pitted like lap one and lap three? I don't see it personally. Milan hasn't stopped yet. Uh, I thought he had. Oh no, Milan hasn't. No. But Dan has. Sink Dan could maybe. Yeah, Draco's get past Steffi. He can't see the wizard. On Steffi. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that is close. Oh, 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 that's oh, a oh. Big lunge. Worked. Slight rubbing of tyres, but it worked. It worked, yeah, for sure. A lunge and a half, and it worked. And here comes Money Biscuit on the back of. Getting past uh, Steffi as well. They're going side by side in towards turn three. The switch oh, back. Lovely undercut move. Muddy biscuit, and it works. Nice. Tempted leader at work, but Steffi's not taking it lying down. Magic Mark's right on the back of Steffi now because of this. They're filtering through. Great racing so far. Yes, definitely. Good respectful stuff. It's crazy to try and keep an eye on. I mean, I would say net leader at the moment Grunty when they all pit. It's on the back of Luki and Josh is on the back of Grunty. So we've I got... think net leader, when the front is Centurion has to, Stigeon has to, Sparks and Milan has to, net leader technically at the moment is Sink Dan in the Ferrari. If, if he can get these tyres to the end, but I would say still that Caesar Wizard is in a great place here, because he's got the freshest tyres of the all. Yeah, Lil Sparks is actually on the back of Stigeon. Second. This is 15 lap mediums compared to 15 lap parts right now. Hmm, yeah, something, somebody else has just pointed out uh, something here as Wizard is having a look at Draco. The way Centurion and Stygian are working these tyres blazer, they could take it to softs and they'll be flying compared to everyone else. Because they're on hearts. Yeah. Uh, that's probably their plan there, then. What is going to happen if they keep going? Depends when they come out. I don't know what a pit stop is. About... 20... 6... seconds? Oh, oh, yeah, that's quite a bit. But they would be super, super fast on those softs. Mm. I'd say 26, maybe lower, maybe 23, 24. Yeah. So if that's the case, then they will pop out. So when um, Mega and Stygian Pierce, they'll probably come out at this rate ahead of Luki, I would say. Mm hmm. Yeah, around about that point. Yeah. And it'd be completely up to them oh, I was just what they can get out of it. 17 seconds. 17. That's 17 yeah, they come seconds. out. Oh, Mark Pitts. Mark Pitts. He could have gone to the end, but he decides to. Yeah, that'll put Lukey back into the points in 10th. But yeah, they'll That's come out. I oh, know, no, 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 Grunt. What's going on? Luke and Grunty. Oh, contact. Between the two. Oh, Grunty. <laughs> Sees uh, the house of Josh getting involved. It's like, nope, nope. Give you a little bit of a, a knock. This is, a, this is all for 10th now. This little pack little pack here, which includes. Oh, oh, Grunty. 
Gosh, was there, and he moved right across. Yeah, this is Lukey in 10th, hanging on to Grunty Josh, and then the two Mercedes. Station has actually got a time penalty. For, oh, I saw that. Yeah, three second time penalty for Station as he. Wow, gets very twitchy on the exit of the castle. Jack on now gets the time penalty. Yep. So here it comes. Yeah, I know where that. Um, that time penalty is, that's either the corner before Castle on the edge. Look at yeah. Castle oh, section. God. Look at all the pack of cars going through there now. All for 10th. Right, does make a pit. Got a pit at some point. Yeah, Mega uh, is coming. Here he goes, here he goes. Well, that's, um, surely staging as well. Yeah. Next staging follows. So Lil Sparks takes the lead. And I think Dan. Followed by the is two Ferraris. Very close to each other. And where's where's Mega Centurion gonna come out? He's gonna come out right behind Steffi and Muddy. He he could he could do well with it, I think. Those softs are going to be incredible. Oh, that was close from Sink Dan. Nearly careered into the back of his teammate. He's now got Draco and Caesar Wizard right behind him. Sarge so retires in the pits. Yeah, I was thinking for a second, the safety car at this point would be interesting. If the safety car comes out... Megas and Tyrion now, and Sedgen will be right in it. Oh uh, yeah, but at the same time, uh, Sparks could be in a good position to win it as well. I'd, I'd imagine like most of them, most of the top seven currently on hards would have hit. As uh, Centurion has flown by Steffi. That's a bold move there, it's, it's kind of a hard overtaking position that is. Soft tyres compared to worn hards. This is this is the progress that Mega Centurion and then Stygian can make. It's all up to them. Uh, here goes the Ferraris, and here comes Draco as well. Lands into the pits. He's ducking out the way. Sink down oh, now. Spark leads. Oh, pit as well. Mm -hmm. So Dan leads ahead of Jacko with Caesar Wizard. Where's Sparks gonna come out? Spark is just gonna come out. Just it's gonna be just behind Stigeon. Yeah, just uh, behind Stigeon, just in front of Grunty. I mean, if you. Centurion, Centurion on the move. Andre running outside for turn three. Sorry. Oh, so close, but not there. Oh, big lock up from Draco. And Saturian has got by Muddy Biscuit, and he's now setting off up the up the top three. Josh and Milan at turn four. Milan's got past Josh. Right, so lap nineteen and twenty-six. This is this is a battle between the two strategies. You got these three: Dan, Draco, and Wizard. Trying to get to the end on the hard tyres. You've got Mega Centurion who is catching them hand over fist. Like a second or two per lap. Then you've got Muddy and Steffi fifth and sixth. Then you've got Stigeon and Sparks both flying on softs. Runty and Knight, and then Luki who's hanging on to a single point by a Fred. But he's going to have Milan all over him as well. Battles all over Blaze has been great to watch. Oh Draco and Stan. Down the stuff is straight, we got yellow flag. Oh, yellow flag. Magic, Magic mark. mark. It looks like he's just gone into the wall, that's Ooh. it. He's good enough to keep going. Drake around the outside of Dan. Right. Still side by side. Caesar Wizard trying to put his car somewhere. Oh, this is it. They're going to make it free wide, possibly. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh yeah, they are for the lead, and Wizard is going to do a double overtake on Dan. Possibly no. 
gets ahead of... Oh, Crunchy! Grunt, something's happened to Grunchy, he's losing position, he's got major front wing damage at, from turn one. I think there's a collision between Grunchy and Luke, I think, because Luke's lost a lot of positions. So I think Grunchy and Lukey had a collision. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, Lukey's now dropped way off the points. So Caesar Wizard with a great double manoeuvre on Sink Dan and Draco takes the lead. But now, in all of that battling, because it was battling, it's now got Mega Centurion. It's just oh, no, he's blown up to the back of these three. It's ridiculous, isn't it? And yeah. Dan, I don't think, has anything to defend here. He's on 17 lap hards. Mega Centurion was looking for a bold move there. Laser. Yeah. We're looking at potential Alpha Romeo 1 2 here. <laughs> I think so. My former team. Jeez. Oh boys. Lost neutral now. Let's sink down again. I don't think he has anything left. He's got plenty of overtake though, and he's pushing that Ferrari, trying to get further away. But I don't think he's got anything. Here comes Mega Centurion. Jacko's closing into Dan. Jacko's uh, closing into Caesar Wizard. That three-second time penalty for Draco is really going to cost him. Might cost him a podium. Stigin is going money out right round the outside of Steffi Wuffy. Or. In the flags. Grunty's crashed out the fast. Oh, Grunty. Right. Oh, that could be a very late safety car potentially. There's still time for one. That right on the last couple of corners it is. What a shame for Grunty. He's been right in the thick of battle all throughout this race. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it. No, nope. kind of a shame in a way, but yeah. Dan's really dropping back with those tyres. I think this is just a matter of time for Mega Centurion. He's just got to bide his time. He has the tyres. Can go for it. Draco's still there on the back of Caesar Wizard. To be fair to him. What are the McLarens going to do, Blaze? I just noticed Stigeon's on the back of Muddy. Hmm. And Muddy's Double on the faster orders. tires. He has a penalty as well, so... Yeah. You would think. Alright, here we go. On board with the top three. This is going to get interesting. Racco, look at the straight line speed on that racing point as he closes up to the rate Ra Alfa Romeo. Look at the speed! Draco is closing. Not be close enough, I don't think. Oh, he is. Oh, he is, maybe. Oh, Susan gets past. Money Biscuit. Oh, Mega Centurion again. He's looking at the back of two cars. We're going to see another free wide moment. Maybe. Please, we're going to. See, the wizard got a good exit, but here comes Draco, trying to go on the outside for turn three. Draco in that Alfa Romeo sandwich here, and here comes Centurion. Mega Centurion is trying to go on the outside of turn four. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's, that what a, is move. a nice move. What a What's move, a move on the outside of turn four. Fantastic manoeuvre. And now, now what do you do? Two Alfa Romeos, one and two. We're going to see team orders again. We saw it in Spain. We might see some team orders. Um, if you think about it, the difference between the two tyres there, with the tyres there, since we're on three lap old softs, Caesar Woods is on seven lap old hards, Draco's on seven lap old, uh, three, 13 lap old 13, hards. Yeah. Um, I mean, Draco, yeah, he's still closing in, still staying with these two. But I think as soon as um, these two start to get a proper good rhythm, they're going to lose Draco and work together. That penalty though as well. This is Alfa Romeo's for taking this in, in their the hands. It's in Alfa Romeo's hands how they want to deal with it. Yep. Right. Because their the, 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 the nearest rival is Sink Dan and he's on 17 lap top. 17, 19, 19 lap, lap hards. hards. Well, 20 lap old hards, and here comes Stygian. Trying to close that gap, but he's not no, close no. enough. We've got about three laps to go left. Oh. 
Oh, what was that? You had a flag? Yes, AI, AI car. I was gonna say, that's scary. Uh, I see the breaking and grip difference. Past Steffi, Steffi nice on move. the exit, of, just going around the outside of turn three. Two Alfa Romeos now, nose to tail. And imagine Mega Centurion, this is, this is again, this is a matter of time here. Yeah. It, seem, it seems weird saying it, but they just got to ignore the racing point there. <laughs> yeah. It, you, you see what I mean? It's like they can see he's there. But again, it's that three second time penalty. Draco's pushing for a podium right now, which at the moment he's getting it. Because Sink Dan now has Stigian and he's holding back Stigian, which has allowed Muddy Biscuit to get involved again. Behind Muddy, he's got little sparks. Still, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Mega Centurion's not. Here comes Sink Dan on Muddy. Stigion on Sink Dan. Stigion on, on Dan, yeah. And get, finally gets past the Ferrari. Nice. Muddy Biscuit gonna follow ahead of Sink Dan, I think. I think again, I think Dan struggling to get these to the end. 21 laps now. See the car sliding all over the place. I think Muddy's got to be aware about the blaze. He's got little sparks closing him. Yeah. He's looking at Wizard's results so far. He got a fourth place in Monaco last week. Mega Centurion. Got a 10th place, Monaco, last week. Both had their first races for Alfa Romeo. Always Money Biscuit nearly dropped it at Castle. Right, so I've got another question here, Blazer. Can Stigin? Who's now cleared Sink Dan? Can he catch Draco for a podium? Uh, it's going to be tough. I mean, they both got three second time penalties. Stigian mm. won't be able has, to hold fourth place. He has to overtake for it. Yeah. But of course, how close Dan is. I mean, Dan could possibly Ooh. get it. Here comes Little Sparks. Little Sparks is gaining. Gaining, gaining. Oh, Muddy Biscuit. Not going to make it. Muddy Biscuit is right on the back of that sink down. Is Mega Centurion holding back here? Are we actually seeing team orders? Because I feel like he could have overtook by now. Are they just holding station? I think he's holding station, to be fair. Muddy Biscuit had a look at sink down. Not close enough. Uh, Draco is just doing enough for a podium at the moment because Sink Dan is over five seconds ahead because he's really struggling now. His tyres look awful because he's right on board of Muddy Biscuit. You see the car sliding all over the place. I mean, hats off to him if he makes it. Yeah, definitely. Who's at the lower end of points? You've got Steffi in eighth at the moment. Got Milan closing him down, and Josh has got Danger Stan all over the back of him for a single point. Lukey, at the moment, Lukey is going to lose, as it stands, 10 points to his rival Muddy. Muddy wouldn't mind. He's getting the job done consistently. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, that's all it takes, really, around here is consistency. Hitting that. Very consistent during the season and stuff like that. And at the moment, my biscuit's doing that. But at the same time, right, here we go. What's going to happen here? Dan, Muddy, and 
sparks, they're all getting close to each other. Money! Oh, the little, the little sparks! Sparks lunges! Oh, that was a dive bomb and a half, that wasn't it? That is a dive, was... Danny Rick dive bomb. Definitely. That is. <laughs> Contact! Danny Rick, spark. Danny Rick. Oh. Danny Rick click and send it, that was, wasn't it? I mean, it works, I guess. He's got the position and he might be able to get sink down before the end of the race. Yeah. The thing, like, thing I like about sink down is he's using all his ERS in just the front, the main straight at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Alright, we are on the last lap of the race. The last time through Castle, they all three have made it through, and still, the Alfa Romeos have not changed position. He's a wizard leading it at the moment, he's actually pulling away for Mega Centurion. All they have is just one more corner to go. Oh, look at Caesar with uh, Mega Centurion right on the back of his teammate now. Yeah, through the final two corners and just the run to the line left to go. They both have ERS to spare, but oh, Centurion's, no. gaining. No. Centurion's, no. Gaining. Centurion's gaining. Centurion's gaining. Centurion's gaining. Oh my goodness. He's oh slipping. no, they're, they're, oh, they're doing a photo finish. Nearly, oh, <laughs> Centurion nearly chucked it into the wall. But it's an Alfa Romeo 1 2. Wizard takes the win. Second place for Mega Centurion. Draco actually got the podium for Racing Point. Stidge in fourth. Managed to hold on to Sink Dan. Little Spark sixth. Actually got Muddy Biscuit. Oh, we actually, yeah, we did see that. So Muddy ended up seventh in all that. Steffi eighth. Milan ninth. And Josh just gets the last point over Dangerous Dan. And Lukey, no points. Evo as well, down in 13th, and then Malibu, like Breezy, and a couple of others today just didn't didn't have a good, e good evening racing, but you get one of those. But what a result for Alfa Romeo Blazer. A 1-2 finish. Yes, definitely a 1-2 finish for Alfa Romeo, and there's a good start. Good start for them there. Uh, Remember, reigning overall constructors champions going into this season. Yeah. And start and continuing their rhythm going. Mega Centurion gets the game at driver of the day because I think he actually went up from 16th on the grid. Did he not? Uh, I think so. Slow down. Low down, according to this, but well done for Caesar Wizard. Promoted, of course. I mean, they both are. They both are. Wizard and Centurion promoted from lower tiers. I think. I think was it Wizard in was in F three of Centurion F four or the other way around? But they have stepped into F two and what? they belong. They belong as clear as that. Yes, yeah, 16th, Mega Centurion to second. Great drive. Draco third. Stigeon fourth with the fastest lap as well. That is Stigeon's best race of the season so far. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Sink Dan as well finally gets on the score sheet because he's had some ridiculous luck the first three races since his promotion in fifth. Sparks, Muddy, Steffi, Milan, and then Josh. I mean, Milan from 18th to 9th. Uh, wouldn't shrug that off, but ah, uh, there's the rest of your finishes there. Good race overall, Blazer. Yeah, yeah. Action all over the place. Race all over. With my audio. Ah. <sighs> uh, remember, follow us on Twitter. You can choose the driver of the day. Going to be a difficult choice, to be honest, because there's a few worthy drives in that race. Yeah, definitely, and uh, great over uh, great battlings every everywhere, great defendings. It was just a terrific race. 
and he definitely was. Um, we have the top three on the podium. They've just sprayed the champagne, and we get to speak to them. No, all three of us here? Yes, they are. Um, please include your audio so we can hear you. And uh, let's start things off. Um, uh, before we do, we're just going to do a quick mic check so the chat can actually hear you. So start off with Caesar Wizard. Do a, a one, two, one, two for me, please. Ready to check. I'll do that. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that works either way. Uh, Centurion, do a little hello if you want. Alpha man, one, two, one, two. Wow. <laughs> I congratulate you. <laughs> and um, Draco, that. give us uh, whatever you want. Thank you. Uh, chat, can we can we hear everyone? Can someone in the chat confirm, please? At the moment, we've got an Alfa Romeo loving in the chat. Need acknowledgement. Did you hear them? Yes, thank you, Eyes. <laughs> one one person in the chat says yes. Thank you. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. how do we do this? Uh, Blazer, how do you want to do this? I don't, I don't mind doing it either way. You could we do. Can't hear Draco. Did you include your audio, Draco? Do you tick the box? To include your audio. Uh, I think that should be good now. He Can didn't. You... He didn't do it. Now he has. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, Blaze. Yeah, Blazer, what did you say? Um, I don't know how you want to do this. <laughs> um, okay. um, I'll do third, you do second, I'll do the winner. Okay. Sweet. Um, yeah, good evening, Draco. Um, good race from yourself. Um, I believe your first proper drive, because I believe you're reserve at the moment? Uh, yes. Well, I joined uh, Singapore last season. Uh, but I left, unfortunately, because I just felt like I uh, wasn't in the right place. But yeah, I came back, uh, I've been practicing in other leagues and felt I had to pace to come back, so gave a shot and there you are. Yeah, very well, very, very well done. And uh, um, interesting race for yourself, obviously you found yourself in the right strategy at the right time, because obviously with the safety car, it was, obviously you had to decide what you wanted to do, and you ended up in the battle between the two Alfa Romeos, and what a battle it was. Um, unfortunately, though, you did get a penalty, um, which, um, was that, uh, before Castle or after Castle? Because that's normally the two places. Uh, before Castle. It was, um... Ah, uh, yeah, that right-hander. They, you have the chicane and then you have the right-hander. Pretty stupid penalty, oh, but could have avoided it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that there before as well, myself, so I know the feeling. Um, but still, you've got to be very, very happy with your third um, place. Yeah, First well, podium in, for RS, RSF1, I guess? Uh, yes, yes. Um, well, I really wasn't expecting anything, to be honest. Um, got in Q3, but then uh, crashed uh, starting my lap, unfortunately. <laughs> but I started P10 and um, did my best and came P3, so very happy with that. Yeah, very, very happy with um, did you know what strategy you were going to do, even despite the safety car uh, early um, on? Well, Muddy Biscuit was in front of me, and I just told myself I was going to do the same that he did, so he didn't pit, so I kept on and boxed lap 7. Um, yeah, that was basically my strategy uh, at the start. Um, that's good, actually, because you recognise, obviously, Muddy is jam chip leader going into this. So. Yeah, well, I knew him from last season that he was championship, so, yeah. Followed him. Um, sometimes that's the best way to do it. Yeah. Um, obviously, if it's the right thing, because it, you might have got it wrong, but hey ho, it worked. Yeah. Um, next up on the calendar, Canada. Um, obviously, at this point, we don't know whether you'll be racing. I hope you kind of do, because a good first impression, especially at one of the one of the toughest tracks on on the calendar in Baku. Canada next. If you race, what do you think? Um, well, I just actually, I just actually got a message from the division head, and he said um, he's probably off. Uh, Williams offered me a seat, full-time driver, so that sounds oh. nice. But um, yeah, Canada probably one of my weakest tracks, I would say. But I'll definitely practice for it and see what I can do. 
Well, best of luck for that and congratulations on the Williams drive. Thank you. All right, are we ready for the Alfa Romeo loving? I don't know if yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> I think we are. <laughs> We've got no choice, but we have to. All right, Blazer, take right. us away. As I take us away, um, Mega Centurion, oh, what a race you must be having there. I mean, qualifying wasn't as too well, starting P16, but the race, um, you must be happy with that, that whole race there. Um, I mean, the early safety car, and then... After the safety car, you're gradually building your way back up. You make well, gradually making your way up the field. You're leading the race, um, or r pretty much around the top three area, and come to the pit stop. You drop down due to the pit stop, but after you appear for those soft tires, you start to make your way back up to uh, get past Draco for second place. So, in your own words, just. Give us what you thought about that. Oh, just race pace. That's it. Just, I used the clear <laughs> air at the front to just build a gap over the massive train behind, hoping that I could kind of jump a lot of them, and I did. And I tried to extend out the mediums as well, so I could go onto the softs at the end, knowing that quite a lot of people were on hards. And yeah, it's just softs against hards. The softs are going to win every day. Yeah, definitely. And well, as I said. Uh, from 16th to 2nd, that was such a great drive there, and I give full hands credit for that drive. But um, next week is um, Canada, so what's your only thoughts? Um, you're hoping it to be dry for the race, or you're expecting it to rain? Because, well, knowing Canada, it does like to rain. Uh, dry or wet, I'm going to get at least 15 seconds worth of penalties, so... Yeah. <laughs> Type dry. Alright, thank you. Brandon? Are you done? Okay, cool. I've done nothing else um, to think of. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing, obviously, I'd, I'd like to mention, obviously, is the maneuvers you did, uh, Centurion, to come up through the field, uh, especially in that last stint when you were on the softs. That double maneuver, I think, it was on. Ferrari and someone else, I can't think who it was. Uh, down, uh, uh, can't remember. <laughs> wow. It was Sink Dan and somebody oh, else, yeah, so I can't down. think who it was. Was it Steffi yeah. Murphy? Was that for? Yeah, might have been. Um, and then the outside maneuver on Draco. Um, obviously, shout out to Draco for giving him the space to work the move as well outside of turn four. So, but pretty good. Very well deserved. Um, yeah, well done. <laughs> Could have, could have taken the win, but I thought of Caesar. Could have it <coughs> qualified a bit better. Yeah, I thought your contract was on the line. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you were the second one. Uh, I am. I knew, it was I, knew, I, knew, I, knew, I knew there was something to it. Uh, there's already um, some politics brewing. It's only round eight. You're doing politics and team orders already at round eight. Round two for us, actually. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, even worse, it should be late on. Anyway. Um, Team orders or not, Caesar Wizard, very well deserved a victory um, at the end of this race. Uh, did you expect to be towards the front at this? Because you qualified pretty well as well. I had, um, I prepared for a 38-2, 38-1 uh, in practice, and and I saw I was already in, in in the right side of the of the grid from Q1, Q2, so I had confidence, but. Then uh, the mediums, I wasn't com I wasn't confident with, and I got. Let's just be honest, I got lucky with with the rain on Q2, and that just locked and secured my mediums. But as we saw with Mega Centurion, the mid medium hard was not the right strategy. So I I knew I had the, f the speed, but I wasn't confident on the strategy. So, but and then the wet came in in Q3, and then that was just something I was confident with, and I knew. I and mean, you saw I was. I was pulling some good laps and just trying to be on the edge, but it was it was my I was feeling confident, yeah. So that's that was qualifying was pretty much going as I predicted to answer you that. Yeah, um very good. And obviously the race started, um uh managed to keep the lead. Yeah. Um over Luki. And obviously strategy went into play, obviously the early safety car. Um Obviously, you were never going to pit, obviously, in the strategy that you were in. 
Um, but then obviously when you were pitted, you ended up behind, what was it, just a head? Muddy Biscuit and all that lot on the hard tyres. There was Dra Draco. There was uh, there was two. There were two Ferraris and there were a Red Bull. So like, I was just ahead of Muddy Biscuit. Never mind. I got confused between the pair. Yeah, of Muddy was of... actually. I didn't know where Muddy found that speed. I believed he just pit super early, oh, didn't he? Like, oh, but, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he put lap seven with yeah. me. Oh. Ah. Um, obviously, obviously difficult to kind of uh, judge from our point of view because obviously we were thinking like halfway through who could possibly win this race, you know, who's on the right strategy and all that. It was all down, all down to tyres and obviously pitting at the right time as well, which sometimes is often the case around here. Um, head to race for yourself as well because even when you pitted, you had to work for to get back into the front, and you did so very well. So. Um, yeah, um, a very very good race. <laughs> nothing, 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 nothing else really to be said. But what about uh, Canada next week? Now, obviously, you've settled into F two now. Yeah. Because obviously, you were in F four, three, F4. four, 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 four. It was in F three. Was in F three. Yeah. 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 Stewie was F three. Yeah. I, I knew it was one of you was F four. Um, so now you're settled in F two. You definitely belong in F two. You mm. can't. Can't go back now. That's that's for sure. Mm. Um, so, yeah. So into Canada next. Yes. Um, biggest question is: Can obviously big result for Alfa Romeo this this week in F two? Can you carry on the momentum? I guess we, I guess we've got the um, the mentality, which is in those tricky those tricky circuits, we're just we're just good at it. We're, it looks like we're pretty good at rise through the grid when in these difficult conditions so i feel like we can have the same the same momentum coming to canada a lot more factors are going to happen because it's a it's a two stoppers it can be a two, the pit strategy is going to be different the weather is completely different the penalty system is completely different so a lot of factors are going to going to be completely different so i can't we can't compute that yet but I'd say we've got the right, uh, like I said before, we've got, it looks like we're feeling more comfortable than average in the East track. So if if Mega Centurion can manage to get his quality, uh, it's is, is, is going to be interesting. That's all I can say. <laughs> and even for myself. I got, um, you got the number one uh, fan club for Alfa Romeo Hippo chanting <laughs> along in the chat at the moment. It's great stuff. <laughs> Um, but yeah, well done on your win. Your, I say technically first win because I know you won in F four. Yes. But your first win in F two. Oh, so. It is. It is. Technically first, pull, first win. First so. pull. First. Uh, it could have been a grand slam, but safety car ruined it. But not fastest lap anyway. So, but yeah, there was first pull, first win in F two. Yeah, very good stuff. Welcome to F two. Ah, I like it. Both of you. Both of you. You and uh, Mega. So. Interesting to see how you two get on for like, the rest of the season. Um, yeah, that's it, Blazer. Um, good race, battles all over the place. Great overtaking. Um, didn't see much malicious. Bit of bit of elbows out here and there, but when you're in a competitive field like F2, you sometimes got to do it. Um, it was intriguing as well. We had a safety car. We had rain in Q2 as Q2 and Q3. Had everything. Yeah, definitely. We had everything now that uh, so we wanted to see, and just to see it happen in Baku, it was amazing. I mean, I think the other thing we actually also wanted to see is possibly just then was like the, maybe we could have had the uh, transex transition of dries to wets in the race, but unfortunately we didn't get to see that. Um, I think. If, if we had that in the mix as well, that could have changed everything in there. But I mean, even if the race stayed dry, every, we just saw everything that we wanted to do, and it was absolutely a hell of a race. It was brilliant to watch. Pleasure, Pleasure was mine. Pleasure was mine to try this one. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, that's been the F2 Grand Prix of Azerbaijan Baku. They will be back for one of my personal favourites on the calendar, the Circuit Giovanni of Canada, where, well, they've got through the castle section, more or less, unscathed. What a champion! 
for all the champions ahead of us. Fantastic stuff. Oh, we got France after that. Mm. Oh, that's oh, said about France. Some race, some race, some race, some race. Sorry, what? <laughs> Just my alarm. Sorry. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing cool. personal. Yeah, Canada next week for these guys. And next week, uh, Primus and your boy Prio should be back in the comms box once again. So, me and Blazer will take a step back until we're needed, of course, once again. Um, as for the rest of this week, of course, we have four more races to give you. How much more drama can Baku give us? Uh, tomorrow is the F3 Championship. We have <laughs> Easton, who is... Yay. We have Easton, who is now taking uh, full streaming... Um, capabilities. Responsibility. responsibility. That's the word I was wanting to use, not capability, responsibility. Thank you. Um, he will be joined tomorrow by a new voice in the comms box, hopefully, if he says yes. Although he said yes, but he's obviously got to, you know, do it tomorrow. Um, it'll be Jamie24 in the comms box tomorrow, yeah. Easter, in his debut comms box. So hopefully he gets on very well. Um, yes. Then we go to. Tuesday, F5, uh, Monster, Monster Skyline back in the streaming role with Rogue is also back in the comms box as well. That'll be on Tuesday. F1 Boys is Blazer Guns, of course, <coughs> alongside here uh, with Hippo alongside him. And then Thursday, we go to uh, Spooky and Mega Centurion. Get to hear his hey. voice again back on Thursday. All 8 o'clock. Make sure you join us for all of those if you enjoyed what you saw. Yeah. Um, we're here all week, not all week. We take a break on Friday and Saturday. Then we're back at it again for Canada. Uh, yeah. not a anyway. race every day. Hmm? What do you mean there's not a race every day? Oh. It's Friday and Saturday. We need a break. No, we need a break Friday, Saturday. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. We peaked at 52 viewers at one point there, which was very good. I mean. Um, yeah, I think it was an average about four. He was like 52 with like the last two laps or something for some reason. It was exciting. It was good. Um, thank you everyone for watching your podium today. Draco in the race point third. Second for Mega Centurion in the Alfa Romeo. A double for Alfa Romeo because Caesar Wizard won the race. The third 1-2 of the season after Renault in Bahrain and Alfa Romeo in Spain. Bain earlier in the season in another tier but good job for them um take care everybody take care keep safe thank you keep safe thank as thank always you. Thank you. and see you see you bye, bye. next time see you next time boys come watch me bullet next next uh tomorrow